But I believe, um, first of all, we have to somehow train ourselves to think and to, and to act. We're going to work with nature, not against her. Albert said that we've debilitated ourselves to think what they want us to think, that science and technology does everything, and that it's a mindset that needs to change, and that the laws of nature need to supersede the laws of man. If each one of you could come up with three ideas on how we could help foster connection or reconnection, no matter how you want to call it, for a wider group of people. I think the more time I spend in nature in that quiet, uh, contemplative uh, way of being, the better I feel. Um, another practice is part of walking and it could be a walking meditation. It really comes from the Vietnamese master Thich Nhat Hanh, and he, he talks about when you walk, you should feel that you're really caressing the earth with each step. So, I'll, so it's a sense that every time you put your foot down, you, you're making contact with the earth. You're actually communicating, and it's feeling that. So that's another practice. Um, another thing I was thinking about something that Christine was talking about, um, when we had done our youth retreat, um, I had participated in a mindful meditation type of thing. We kind of walked through the grass barefoot and we had to just keep like coming back to our thoughts on how the grass felt as we walked, uh, to encourage people to do, or to teach people how to do that would be a really great way just to connect in general. Sometimes you're in the countryside or you're in nature around you, but you're not really there. And it's the question like, how much can you, like you can be in a place without being connected to it. And so you have, you need something more than just bringing people in nature to foster this connection. When, when you step out to go for that walk, the intention of just peace, just peace have, and, and breath, like feeling a sense of peace with that intention that often I find I'm walking to get to someplace else. And if I just go, oh, you know what? A sense of peace has a quality of immense space and also being really present. And so that's just a simple thing you could do walking to get the milk or whatever it is. Now more outside, I'm, I'm more in the moment. I'm more present because of all of the elemental factors, the breeze, the sounds, everything is much bigger and more vibrant and there's an energy shift where uh, you just feel part of everything very quickly that way. The interconnectedness of ecosystems and humanity um, is, yeah, which is, you know, magical to behold. How differently are we going to be treating our natural world from here on in? I think that's that's something that that's going to require a lot of a lot of dedication, a lot of uh, commitment, and a lot of responsibilities individually. We can't expect other people to be responsible if we are not walking that talk. That our actions are very much based on what our responsibilities are as humans. <laughs>